to our tutorials. In case you missed our last tutorial, get to watch our video on how to get started with user plans. On this video, we get to learn how to configure the business details. This is configuring the system to have the basic information of your business. It will help you feel that the system has your custom look and information. Let's learn how to configure the business details. Do you have a logo? It's time to upload it. On the system dashboard, go to settings and click on company. On the business information tab, go to the company logo section and click on choose file. On the pop-up that appears, select your logo from your file and click on open. Contact details provide the information you want to appear on all the documents generated by the system. Fill in the physical location of the business. You can write the office, the floor, and the name of the building. Also, provide the postal address. By default, the currency is picked from the location you registered during the sign-up process. In case you need to change your business currency, click on the currency input and choose from the options given. Once satisfied with the information given, click on the Update Info button. The system comes with a free e-commerce platform. You can get your e-commerce URL from the email you receive during the sign-up process with the subject account verified. If you wish to receive payments from the e-commerce platform, you need to provide the system with your financial details. Please note that the documents are uploaded and the information given is secure. This is how you go about setting up your online payment. Still on Settings Company, click on the Financial Information tab. Click on Continue if you agree to submit credible and accurate information as required. Confirm your banking business name, your banking business email, and your banking business phone number. Write your business contact person detail. Fill in their name. and their phone number. On the bank account details, select your country and select your bank from the options provided. Proceed to write your bank account number. It's important to scan through the information to confirm the details entered. Once satisfied, click on the Save Details button. On the pop-up that appears, click Save to confirm. Your details will be saved successfully. You are also required to provide your business documents for verification. On the page you are redirected to, click on Update Document. Provide your business details by filling in the field. Write your business registration number and upload a copy of the certificate. Next, write your company's PIN number and upload a copy of the PIN or the tax certificate. You need to upload the Memorandum of Association's first page and the last page. Upload a copy of a sealed or a stamped board resolution letterhead signed by at least two directors stating authority to integrate with UserPoint's payment system. Upload an authorization letter indicating the contact person and the bank details where settlement will be made. Also, upload a cancelled check or a letter from the bank confirming the bank details where settlement will be made. 
Upload the copies of ID or the passport of the directors. Note that you can select multiple files in the picker dialog. Once again, cross-check the information you provided and once done, click the submit button. Your financial details will be saved successfully. The admin user will receive an email once the account has been activated and is ready for use. Payments are disbursed to a business bank account after one day. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video to get to know how to add your outlets and your stores.